thoroughly indoctrinated Marine right over here. Okay. I'm going to do my, uh, mm -hmm. uh, God willing, I'm going to do my 20, 30, depending on, you know, if the Marine Corps wants me that long. Thoroughly indoctrinated, so I'm going to enforce the rules and regulations. I'm, I'm in there like swimwear. I'm going to tell them they got to right. do it because it's part of the pro it, it's part of the transition. So they have to do it. They have to take something in it. Some Marine, some people will say, not even Marines, there's some people in general would say, well, the, you know, the individual member has to take ownership of the transition. Uh, it's not just the TRS program's responsibility. It's the individual member's responsibility. Is that, is that true uh, in your experience? It, it, to an extent, I, I would say yes. Marines specifically, right? We're, we're taught that, you know, what, our successes and failures fall on our shoulders, right? However, we're talking about 17, 18 year old kids who come into the military, knowing only the military life, who are now having to transition to the civilian sector with no comprehension of what that looks like. When you think about it, the, the military makes life very easy, right? You, you join, you, you make it through boot camp or whatever, you earn your, spa your, your space in your particular branch. And now they're going to provide you a paycheck on the 1st and the 15th. You've got all the health benefits you need, dental benefits you need. You've got access to food in a cafeteria on a base if you need to. And if you get married, they're gonna go ahead and put you in a house or give you money to go ahead and move into a house. Like, that's not how it works in the civilian world. Right. So imagine going from mom and dad taking care of you, the military taking care of you. Now you got to go ahead and understand how to truly balance some things, because you know what? Not everything is going to be prepared for you and laid out for you the way it's been. That is a difficult transition for a lot of people. And I think that's being lost in the sauce. Yes, I get it. You got to take ownership of the decisions you make to potentially put yourself in a better space. Right. Yes. But how do you expect individuals to go ahead and take ownership of an experience or something they've never had the opportunity to experience? All they have is, is us telling them, like, hey, be prepared, be prepared, because life is hard. It's different out there, right? But they've never experienced it. Without proper training and preparation, how can we expect them to just know? That's not how experience works. Experience works through doing, through having been through it, right? That's mm -hmm. how experience works. Mom and dad taking care of me, military taking care of the majority of my needs while I'm doing my job. The civilian sector doesn't take care of your needs while you're doing your job. You have to do both. Take care of your, your needs and take care of your job. That is a difference in terms of growth, in terms of the next chapter. So in, in, when I hear that, it's obvious individuals who don't understand or have never had the assistance. Like, again, the majority of that stuff is coming down from the officer ranks, right? The majority of the stuff you hear that stuff is because officer ranks were saying, take ownership, take ownership. Take. They were taught that, you know what I'm saying, at OCS, and they just keep repeating it. If Then why is it that your program is literally <laughs> hand-feeding you opportunities to network with guys who are going to take care of you that makes your transition easier when we're expecting the enlisted individuals to figure it out? Make it make sense. Like, it just doesn't add up, right? So that's where I get a little frustrated with that whenever I hear it because I do understand that you got to take ownership. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not naive to that. But taking ownership of what you know and what's expected of you vice taking ownership of the unknown – that's that's really kind of ridiculous in itself to go ahead and expect that of the majority of a force that joins when they're 17, 18 years old. <laughs> it's ridiculous to me. That's that's a good point. Uh, we're freaking we're not providing them the the tools to be successful human beings. We're just kind of a, it's almost seems like a check in the box. It seems that way. I'm not saying it is. Yep. You don't misquote me. It almost seems as though is it's formality, and we got to check the box for each individual so that the big whoever it is up there is hey i've done what you know i've created a foundation a basic uh yeah yeah i don't i don't know and, and it's, it's, i think it's... you're right I, I feel like 